Listen, you know, sometimes you gotta let people go their own way. I was doing an 80s Hannah Frankson ride the other day on the Peloton. She played um, Burning Heart by Survivor, which is from Rocky IV. And she said, I didn't know there was another Rocky song. There's two Rocky songs. So she's talking about obviously Eye of the Tiger. And then the second one is Burning Heart. Hannah Franks and I didn't have the heart to get in their Instagram DMs. There's three Rocky songs, okay? There's Burning Heart, there's uh, Eye of the Tiger, and then there's Hearts on Fire, Long Desire. That's the one that goes, Dum tick it wham, Dum tick it wham, Dum tick it wham, Tick it, 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 tick it. That's that's a class. I'm not gonna play it because we'll get content ID matched. But what about the Rocky theme? That's not a song. That's a piece. Absolutely horrendous squad here. An overpriced shirt. Horrendous squad. That's okay. Hate those. I guess. Marvel snaps one step away from Lorcana, so you're saying there's a chance? Jay, I'm genuinely, I'm not putting you on blast here, okay? Hey, at all. I saw you open the Lorcana stuff, and I said to myself, you know, my wife likes Disney, my daughter likes Disney. Maybe we could get into this Lorcana stuff, and then in conversation, you know, just one of those, I, I floated it like a little balloon. I said, hey, did you know Disney just came out with their own collectible card game called Lorcana? Or Lorcana? I floated it to my wife in the car. First thing she said, oh yeah, I saw it. It's going to be dead in a month. Rip my Lorcana chances. I mean, in a way it's nice because it means I don't have to spend like a couple hundred bucks on paper, but... <laughs> She got me good, man. She got me good. Check this out. You guys aren't ready for this technique right here. Ooh, how about, this is an interesting one. How about double okapi? And then I'll take a, a panda. Just call me Avitair, the way I be adding panda bear to my team. Chibli, you still hear that one's for you? I'm gonna buy. We'll save our money for rolls next time. Yep. <laughs> Dave Hester, when he sees a locker full of garbage. We're going to lose this round too. But on the bright side, we have absolutely no future prospects. Wait, we're gonna draw this round. Oh! Panda. Panda. Penguin and panda, two different animals, I'm told. You serve no purpose. Not interested? Not interested? I think that you're an acceptable Andy. By the way, I don't really know what I'm doing this week. I have some 10 pieces this week. I've got some one pieces this week. I just realized what I said. I'd like to apologize to the anime community. Give me a level. Skunk me. Roll me. Can I get another panda? Like, would it, would it kill you to give me a panda here in this situation? It seems like a great round to get a panda on. Who was your favorite person on Storage Wars? How can you not like Barry? Of, of all the individuals on Storage Wars, I mean, like, Barry was... He's pack one, pick one. You think I'm gonna take Brandy and Jared? Two individuals whose marriage is a complete sham just to stay on the show? No chance, brother. I also like the guy with the incredibly hoarse voice. That guy's okay. The guy who did all the storage locker stuff with his son. I got nothing against that guy, but it's, it's Barry. 
by a mile. Rip Barry? He died? Which one's Barry? He's the inexplicably, incredibly wealthy old man who always drove like a different car in every episode. Okay, we're, we're gonna try. I, I actually think Moose might be better than Monkey this week because scaling HP is, is very effective in my opinion. Did he like to wear hats? Are you making a bald joke about Jared? Because Jared liked to wear hats. Is that what you're getting at? You're, you make it a bald joke, Fawn Flame? I mentioned this in a SAP video. But like, and I don't, Corey's probably doing his own stream, so he, he can't comment on this. But this is, I'm being sincere with you. One of the most annoying parts about being bald is that I wear a hat outside to avoid getting a sunburn, but I feel like if I ever take my hat off to like wipe sweat off my brow or something like that, everybody that sees my bald head assumes that I'm wearing a hat because I'm embarrassed about my baldness, but I'm not embarrassed about my baldness. It just is what it is. So I am always like, I need to wear like a shirt that says, I'm not embarrassed to be bald. I just have to take my hat off sometimes. Why do you care what other people think? First off, coming from Twitch chat, that's rich. Secondly, I guess the answer is because like, you know, it's built into our genes to be like social creatures because in our evolutionary history, like being well liked within our tribe was very important for our survival and proliferation. I don't know. I mean, how, you're not my therapist. How deep you want to get into this? I don't have all the answers. Okay, I'm going to dump you. I don't really know who I'm rocking with here. We can rock with Fly temporarily. No, I'm... Honestly? Give me, give me Fly now. Toss me a moose next. Oh, but he doesn't get saved. Oh. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm throwing this round to make next round have... Oh, I'd love to get you too. I guess that's going to get unfrozen anyway. But I'm throwing this round to give us a better chance for 10 in the future. But it's a... Uh, it's a scary play. It's a scary play. We weren't that far off. You too? The lights go down. Does I can feel it. Oh, 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 oh. You know what I'm talking about? Vertigo? <laughs> Many people are saying it. Is everything I No, but it's you. Yes, I feel myself. You don't know. It's all a spectacle to you. We're not, I think four is as far as we get, quite frankly. I don't think we're getting much further than four. Snake goes crazy this week. Why'd you buy the beaver? <laughs> That's a very good point. <laughs> that was not smart. Um... Well, okay, you're going to sell me. Let me look at this. Four, five, three. You're not going to be on the squad. It'd be good to get a tier six right now. It could happen. A tier six. I think that the Highland Cow is going to take a while to get going. But if it works, I'll be a happy man. I'm really, like, there's two archetypes I've made work this week with some degree of consistency, okay? One of the runs that has worked with some degree of consistency is um, buy sell. That requires getting, oh, we're, we're torched on this one. But I was right, I told you four is all we get. Um, one of them is buy sell. I don't think it requires an early starfish, but it can be nice to have. It definitely requires getting some shrimps relatively early on in your, in your ecosystem. 
The other one, and you can get a, a buffalo later and go crazy with it. Let me be like a legendary muffin, blueberry. The, uh, the other one is survive until round, uh, round 11 or get it on level up on round nine and just take a dragon. If you take a dragon, you're, you're sitting pretty. As long as you got enough HP to lean into it. This hurts. You ever considered the Gallagher route and getting a hat with hair attached? First off, I had to do the translation because you typed route, R-O-U-T. R-O-U-T-E is the route that you're talking about. R-O-U-T is uh, what happened in 1456 when the Turks took over Constantinople, okay? Secondly, you've been watching my stream for nine years. You ever think about getting a different joke? It's getting a little insane at this point. It's 1453. Son of a bitch. <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had it in the palm of my hand, too. I owned you, and I threw it away. <clears throat> What's the joke? I missed it. The joke is he's bald. Holy shit. Whoa, I have some troubling allegations. It turned into, I think that I found out that he's bald. What? No way. Shocked. Lion shocked. Walter shocked. Oh, watch this though. Sell me. Buff me. Chinchilla's overpowered. Now we got a 6-6 six, six chinchilla. I don't know why in my head I was like, Godzilla, King Kong, Loch Ness, Chinchilla, Leatherface, Sissy, the ghost face killer. Everybody knows. <laughs> That's not Billy Joel. That was Jay-Z. Billy Joel would be like, you know, Godzilla, King Kong, Loch Ness, Panmujam. North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. Level me? Come on. Come on. It, 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 uh, fine. We'll level next time. We're, we're out of sync like uh, J.C. Chazay, but we'll do what we can. I th I, I'm not saying... This is... I'm acknowledging a realm in which I have ignorance, okay? I know something about rap music, but somehow I just, I missed the entire Jay-Z era. You know, I think I was not listening to rap music when he got started, because I was like eight years old. And then I listened to um, H to the Izzo. And then I started listening to Wolf Parade. So I missed almost all of Jay-Z. So the fact that basically all I know him for is like... Um, the American Gangster soundtrack and his guest verse on Monster is like, I, I don't understand Jay-Z, but that's a me thing, okay? What about Empire State of Mind? Well, like, everybody makes mistakes. I'm not going to hold that against him, okay? Oh, we win these. That's a good song, though. How, simple question, okay? How old were you when Empire State of Mind came out? Because I feel like if you were like six when it came out, it might be like your favorite song of all time. But if you were 20, it was hell. Because you just could not, as it was playing everywhere. And I don't even live in the country in which New York is based. Much less New York City itself. Or like a Midwestern town of 15,000 people that thinks New York is like uh, heaven on earth. I think it's a great city, by the way. 
It's just like after a certain length of time, you're like, I just can't hear this damn song again. Why are you judging songs based on your own bad taste in radio? Guy offended the most popular song of all time is catching a little bit of flack for being overplayed. Yeah, yeah, what's a song you like? Oh, really? You like Tom Waits' Rain Dogs? Uh, okay, what about another song you like? Is there another, is there another song you like? Oh, you're really into uh, the Velvet Underground White Light, White Heat, huh? Oh, is there... I'm indefensible! I mean, unassailable! I have perfect taste, okay? Except maybe I listen to Sophie B. Hawkins' Damn, I Wish I Was Your Lover a little bit too much. There's just something about it. Something about that synth bass. The... You know that one? Do you play? Do they play a lot of Carly Rae Jepsen on Canadian radio? I don't know, cause I don't drive like a truck for a living, or like work in a grocery store, or like the front room of a doctor's office. Like I'm just, I don't listen to the radio anymore. It's 2023, man. Anyway, stop trying to distract me. I'm pogging. Are we ready for the conversation, by the way? Do you think... I, I don't know if I'm willing to be this guy yet. But I think in 2023, I might be taking the position. And you can't take anything away from apologies for the Queen Mary. And you, you can't take much away from something like at Mount Zoomer. But I think I might possibly be more of a sunset rubdown head than a wolf parade head. And I know it's, it's not the majority position. I've come here organically after, after quite a lot of listening to both, but I think I might be a sunset rubdown guy. What about frog eyes? I love some frog eyes as well. Hang on, I'm thinking. <laughs> What is he saying? Some of you weren't sucked off in the <laughs> sucked up in the era of Montreal-based indie rock circa the mid 2000s, and it shows. Not good. We're gonna need this for our shark at some point. Okay, okay. It's only round seven. There's hope here. Is that a bad thing? No, you know, you're 22. You don't have control over it. Son of a bitch. Nah, I'm 36. I mean, if you are 36 and you have bad taste in music, you have my respect, because you probably have, like, the most normal-ass life of all time, right? Chibli will validate, but you might think that because I, like, don't like Imagine Dragons or Meteora from Linkin Park, like, I have bad taste in music. The truth is, we're just running in different spheres, and that's okay. Chib will tell you, I got good taste in music, and as a result of that good taste in music, I can't put myself in the shoes of someone who doesn't care to have good taste in music and instead just hears a song in the radio and is like, I like that one, and then they like choose to buy the CD or something like that. That must be crazy. You must have like a, a unionized blue collar job with a pension and like three kids and like a robust social network surrounding you because instead of like having a lot of time on your own as a, as a teenager, um, where you would naturally you gravitated to stuff like uh, forums and pitchfork media and stuff like that You just went out with your friends and they put on like a song. You're like, holy shit snow patrol This is like the deepest song I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm I'm honestly I'm a little jealous quite frankly That you have no opinion on Ted Leo and the pharmacists 
cover that they did for the AV club of Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I'm a little, em I'm a little embarrassed that I do, okay? I'm a little embarrassed that I think I'm too good to listen to Bright Eyes. Whereas when you heard it, you would be like, holy cow, this kid's revolutionizing country music for the modern millennial generation, okay? You have to do this. We have to do this. You're a very interesting unit this week. I gotta talk about you. Hey, 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 Wait a second, wait, wait a second. You can't do this to me. Wait, wait a minute, this is brutality. Wrong, Jarek. Okay, that's four. Bright Eyes Country, what? Some of you weren't alive when I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning came out, and it shows, okay? And that's not your fault, you're 22. I wasn't alive when Remain in Light came out. Now, at age 17, I went back and I sorted that shit out, but... I'm 40? Okay, well then just go back and listen to the Foo Fighters and leave me alone, okay? We're talking about stuff that you don't understand. Grandpa, who is six years older than me. Start saying shit like Fleetwood Mac's coming to town. Is it worth $387 for standing room only seats? We're talking about Lil Ugly Maine, okay? We're talking about Phoebe Bridgers. I'm making a bold move. I'm selling you. And I'm thinking you. I'm still thinking you. I'm not, that, I'm not that interested in a second sheep, quite frankly. So I think it's too late to build a skunk. We need something more transformative than a skunk. Okay, we're going, we're going head-ass mode. It's that simple. This is head-ass mode. We're running four squatted, but at least we're going to spit out a second ram, unless we get sniped. This team is better than mine. Or is it? It's not better than mine. There had, wait, no, there definitely didn't have to be. Wait, I'm, you know I'm running the same squad. <laughs> but wouldn't it be funny if there was one guy who was invited to go see Oppenheimer, but then decided, no, I'm not gonna watch Oppenheimer because I don't want to see the sex scenes. So then instead he went to the Phoebe Bridgers concert and then she pulled off her top and flashed everybody. And he was like, oh my God! Do you think that it's possible that there was one guy? There were probably thousands of people in attendance, right? There could have been one guy. They're eating them. And then they're gonna eat me. Yes? Hello? I'm sorry to do this to the sheep. It's a foundational part of our snake, but... But this goes crazy. Okay, so... It's gonna be like that. Hi, Tomo. Hi, don't go, don't go near the cords, please. See, I'm not like other guys. I would look respectfully at the scene where they're having sexual intercourse, but I would cover my eyes when they built the bomb because war is bad. It feels so fucking good when you hit that like one good joke per stream. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked this up so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose, man. I saw that joke on Twitter already. Okay, I did not see it on Twitter, but great minds think alike. I could believe that it was made on Twitter before. <laughs> Wait, 
It's so drawable. So true, shaking my head when they build the bomb so that people in the audience know I don't suppo support war. I did say support. Saw Oppenheimer last night, riveting for three hours. Good job, Chris Nolan. He's done it again. The madman has done it again. I want to go see it. Oh, my shark is at the front. That's not good. That's really... Seahorse. Seahorse goes crazy, huh? Oh, that's bad, too. <laughs> it's horrible. Okay, we have eight minutes. Here, it's time for record breaking speed-based gameplay. Send it. Hot cucumbers. I saw bald. I saw bald too late. Send it. <clears throat> Tomo, please. Just get away from the cords, man. That's it. All I'm asking you to do is get away from the cords. I'm not asking you to leave me alone. I'm just asking you to get away from the cords. It's, it's a, a simple ask. A mere 8x8 eight eight grid. Can you stop taking units with so many triggers? I have a, a very strict time deadline here. Okay, simply put, we have to go faster. Anyone know where NL got this shirt from? <laughs> You're not ready for this jelly, brother. This is a Kirkland Signature Classic right here. I think this is an Eddie Bauer shirt. Oh, that's not right. Hang on. Settings, gameplay, fast forward factor, 200%. You're not, you're gonna, not gonna know what the fuck is happening, okay? Place me. Buy me. Sell me. I mean, a buy-sell build is too slow for our deadline. Unless we get the 10 faster as a result of it. In which case, then it is what it is. Pop me up top. Nah, it's probably not the right idea. You guys get all that? <laughs> Sorry to you, but this is the, this is the strat now. Sell me. Now sell before he can get the buffs. No! <laughs> I really thought it would work. POV, you are Gen Z watching a movie and there's a scene with either sex or talking. Not a single purple guy is putting on an infinity gauntlet. Good news is I'm going to lose anyway. Okay, take this. You seen the video of the guy putting a glizzy into the Costco chicken bake? Uh, I have not. I really need something to go quite viral for me to see it. I see like the top two most viral things daily. So what have I seen recently? Um, that mf -er isn't real, and then also, Ron DeSantis might be on Ozempic. Those are the, those are the two big ones this week. Slide Cop, that's true, I definitely did see Slide Cop as well. I did not purchase Lil Tay coin. Um, that's just, it's not because I have anything against Lil Tay, it's because the tokenomics just didn't make sense to me. It seems incentivized for a rub, rub, rug pull, personally. No buffalo is crazy. I don't have time to think, okay? I probably, probably should have bought that peacock, too. Let me guess. You were like, oh, that's an obvious mistake? Well, tell me something I don't know. How about buying another shrimp?
It's 12.57. We probably got a bail on this one. <laughs> Just because I'm too good. I never thought it would happen. It's simple. You go dragon, sell me, buy me. Sell me. Shark me to sell me next time. Bro, there's too many triggers! Go, 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 go! Faster. You're not even a tier one. I don't even know why I'm buying you, man. There's no, there's no reason for you. Go, 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 go! Can someone explain why he only bought pets with triggers when he has a time counter? Can somebody explain why you came to this stream ostensibly looking for entertainment and then as soon as you get here, you're nitpicking the most point Dexter stuff a person could possibly nitpick? It doesn't make any sense, man. Get out of your own way. You're, you're the only thing standing in your own way of being happy, brother. There's seven. It's so sad that this is already like my best run of the day. Oh, toxic, toxic, toxic. When I point out flaws in you, it's uh, constructive criticism. When you point out flaws with me, it's toxicity. Yeah, you believe that, Fokker? You believe that? You believe that, Fokker? Okay. Go, 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 go. You're, that's a strong laddie right there. That is a, that's the strongest team I've ever seen in my life. I don't want to. I wanna I don't want to. I wanna get some tier ones. You're not gonna give me any tier ones? Okay, 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 fine. That's how we run it this round. I didn't need that. Whatever, we don't need a level three peacock. I'm stunned by your greed. Okay, we draw these. Tier ones. Tier ones. Thank you. We're only on seven wins. Come on, brother. Come on. I saw I didn't even need to sell you. I didn't even need to sell you. Go, 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 go! Death touch. It's a wicked web. We weave much score. That's eight. Okay, go, 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 go! Ten piece me. Ten piece me. Please, please, please. My snake. Okay, well we got to A. That's still our best. Okay, slash 